Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this review is about Niti Minakshi Institute of Technology, NMIT, Bangalore. And this is part of Niti deemed to be university. So this is one of the top notch institute in terms of its accreditation. And uh, Niti University is actually the, it has got World University Ranking 2025 as 1500 top universities. In India, it has got NRF Ranking 66 and it's a NAC A+. Accredited. So good news that was that within Nitte University, five more institution were added last year, right? So if you see one was Nitte Institute of Fashion Technology, Nitte Pharmaceutical College, Architecture College, uh, and then Nitte Minakshi Institute of Technology (NMIT). So NMIT is now part of Nitte University, and it is. Now we'll follow the admission process of uh, Nitte University. You can see it's under NMIT. And Nitte Minakshi Institute Technology itself is uh, NRF 101 to 150 rank band college. So it has got its own standing and quite good option for students across India. And this is the Nitte Minakshi Institute Technology address in Bangalore, which is based out of Bangalore and the other contact details. So why you should consider, you know, B, B Tech course from Niti Minakshi Institute Technology is uh, it has got decent number of, you know, or recruiters offering good number of offers and the placement percentage quite good and uh, highest salary up to 44 lakhs, right? So those are the good reason they have MOU with 30 plus companies and uh, they do have a global collaboration with 20 plus universities and provide for international placements as well. So those are some of the highlights, you know, all in terms of innovation and entrepreneurship. They do have good, you know, innovation uh, labs, idea labs into their campus and provides for a good amount of innovation capabilities. And they have a training initiative and internship projects with the renowned universities and the tuning program also. So, and so talking about the different engineering programs which are level under the UG programs, they offer uh, branches like computer science, engineering, information science electronics and communication computer science and business system csbs mechanical electrical civil and again specialization branches of csc like aiml aids and um, your electronics vlsi design and robotics and artificial intelligence as well and uh, there are pg programs also available again across areas of you know structural engineering robotics renewable energy and electric vehicle as well as they have MBA and MCA programs under NMIT. So this year onwards, now NMIT is part of Nitte University. So it will follow the NUCAT admission process. So it will not take admission through KSET or the Comet K exam, but you will have to appear NUCAT admission tag where you can apply on apply.nitte.edu.in which will be used for NMIT as well as NMAMIT. So for NUCAT, it will be in many phases. So first test will be between February 1 to February 3rd and you should apply before 20th of January. So that is the phase 1. There will be phase 2 in you know, March and April. So now you will also want to know about the Niti Minakshi Technology fee structure so that uh, you have a good idea about uh, you know how much it will cost you. So this is a branch-wise fee structure for 25-26 batch starting. And aeronautical engineering like fees is 2,25,000 per year. But if your marks are good, you can get a scholarship and the fees applicable will be only 1,50,000. For artificial intelligence and data science, again, the fees is 3,25,000 general fees. But after scholarship, 1,75,000. AIML branch, artificial machine learning, 3,25,000 the fees after scholarship, 1,75,000. Same goes with civil, 1,50,000 seat and after scholarship 1,25,000. Now these are all of computer branches. So computer science 3.5 lakhs after scholarship 1,75,000. CSPS again 3.25 lakhs after scholarship 1,75,000. Electrical electronics 125 after scholarship. ECE 1,50,000 after scholarship. And electronics engineering VLSI design 1,50,000 after scholarship. Information science Regular fees 3,25,000, 1,75,000 after discount. Mechanical 1,25,000 and robotics also 
uh, uh, on like fifty thousand after disc uh, discount or scholarship. But all the students may not get a scholarship, but only based on the higher uh, marks or percentage in the new cat exam, you may avail the scholarship as well. Now there will be exam fees of uh, ten thousand rupees extra, which will be covered during the uh, session, and it will be covered at the start of the session itself. Now I'll talk about the important part again: placement you want to see before applying for the new cat exam. So these are the total, you know, offers as well as the companies visited in last three years. So you can see in 2022, 132 companies visited, and it gave around 1400 offers. In 2023, also 143 companies visited, and the offers were as good as 1446. And then 192 companies visited in 2024 batch, and you can see the total number of offers are still around 1170. So in tough year it was also showing good trends now the branch wise placement percentage so you want to see which branches you can take so aerospace the red one 82 percent place uh, you know, placement csc 93 percent batch got placed blue mark orange which is about information science engineering also 88 percent students got placed ece 86.49 percent dark blue Yellow one is Triple E, which is 67%, Mechanical 98%, and Civil is also good, 63.41%. So overall, percentage placement looks good. Now, these are the actual numbers. So if you see the number, total number of eligible students in CSC were 184, out of which 172 got placed in 2024. ISC out of 172 students, 152 got placed. ECE out of 148 students, still 128 got placed. Triple E, around 29 students got placed. Mechanical, out of 52, 51 students got placed. Civil, 26 students got placed. And the aerospace engineering, again, out of 70 students eligible, 58 of them got placed. So, decent number of students got placed in the top branches and up to ECE. And uh, other branches has typically a lower number of students intake. Now, talking about the salary tank. So, good news that uh, last year or the Current ongoing batch, the highest salary is with Tata Connected Corporation, 44.5 lakhs. So this is a student who got the highest package this year, 44 lakhs. And uh, the company is Tata Connected Corporation, as I mentioned. But there are other good trends in terms of uh, salaries, like data engineer profile with Hitachi Industrial Systems, around 28 lakhs package. Then there are, multi, uh, there are multinational companies in India, like uh, Nutanix, like 17 lakhs package of phone pay which is around 22 lakhs package and 23 lakhs package to couple of students. So these are all India based salaries. Then there are a good number of uh, Japanese companies are also visiting Nitiminakshi Institute Technology and they are providing placement. So last year 11 students got placed in the range of 17 lakhs to 28 lakhs. So some of those students who got placed are from branches like even ECE. So companies Wembyuan, you can see the package is 28 lakhs. Then this is again with the Japanese company Hitachi Industrial package is uh, 28 lakhs and the student is from the branch of information science engineering right and this one is again with Hitachi package is same 23 lakhs and couple of students from the EC department you can see here uh, this is with the company called Japan's Co Limited mechanical student package 20 lakhs and then Hitachi KE systems again in the range of 20 lakhs to the ECE student. This is with another Japanese company, Sankyo Sisekyo Tokyo, who secured the package of 17 lakhs. So good number of Japanese as well as Indian companies are visiting with decent number of offers and it can be considered as one of the good options. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe channel to get similar updates.